A shard is like a poor man's core, but beggars can't be choosers. Oh, his manners ain't so bad. You ain't in this alone, I tell him. That's it. A few more shards like that, and we'll be back in business. A single shard can breathe new life into this place. The shard's got enough juice to spruce up any of these places. The arsenal's complete, in case we need protection. some team. If you're feeling low, count on the buttery flavor of our own bastion bourbon. The city tried to use the shards to stake out the wild. So much for that plan. Rothus Lagoon, even the brushes stopped going there, didn't like being eaten. Ankle gators used to roam the wilds, and they nested at Rothus Lagoon. Many a tale folks used to scare their children straight originated here. All kinds of beasts were going to know up from that, still looking about. These beasts, they don't like company. <laughs> Only the city's brushes knew their way around the lagoon. Even the brushers learned to fear this place. They used to think that ankle gators were extinct. Well, they ain't. One of them's been living in the tall grass. They called her Queen Anne. Got plenty of other dangers, of course. Turns out Queen Anne got a hold of a shard. Ankle Gators love shiny things. Know what smells worse than an Ankle Gator's breath? A stink weed. Can't fight Queen Anne with the proper tools.
brushers use their pikes to keep their distance around here. Now the kid can do the same. They say you can't hurt an ankle gate unless it's raining. And it ain't raining. Sharp sticks make Queen Anne nervous, so she backs off a bit. Kid's got a mean throwing arm. Those pin cushions been living off the ankle gator scraps. Queen Anne can't fit down some of these narrow paths. kid into some kind of twisted trap. One bad step in that tall grass and he's Queen Anne's lunch. Still no sign of the shark. get to an ankle gator's lair, the thicker the tall grass grows. Kid's gotta make a run for it. That old gator's right on his tail. Seems even stinkweeds know to stay away from the queen. care for their young. That's why there ain't many around. Wanna know how to find an ankle getter later? You use a kid as bait. Now she's coming for him. She's got nowhere else to go. The shark.
Shard sitting in plain view. She's starting to get annoyed. Queen Anne's reign is over. We even got a crown jewel. That gator's a crazy gal. But so is the gal who promised to look after her. He ain't big on small talk. They said Queen Anne was just a folktale. Now there's living proof she ain't. He's got to watch his back out there. Oh, she's cute now. Just you wait. All that trouble for a single shard. But you know what? It was worth it. Still no mail. Go figure. Just the occasion to crack open the distillery's private reserve. Party punch is so zesty, it'll let you carry on through the worst of times. No matter what he's gonna face out there, it'll burn. Shard should be farther out there in the wild. Over there is Camp Dauncey, where the brushers steal themselves for secret missions. Point Lemayne's Grand Rail once brought the riches of the wild right to our doorstep. Know how Ceylandia became the richest city in the world? Two words, Point Lemaine. If the wilds could ever be tamed, it was gonna happen right here. But now, the greatest outpost past the city line 
is nothing but a freak show. The army's triggers once had the place on lockdown. Just like my fighting days. Gun like that can even put the wilds in check. Point Lemaine seen better days for sure, but it ain't done. Ceylonian War, 50 years ago, doomed to happen again. Thank you. 
right here that Zolf's Ur forefathers decided to mix it up. Okay, so maybe we didn't get their sign off on the whole brand rail thing. That was bad. The rail must have shook the error to the bone down in those damn layers. First he thinks it's Zolf. Turns out he's wrong. This is for you, says the man. Then wham! <laughs> when the kid comes to, the man's long gone. But something else is there. The only words Kid recognizes on that parchment are for Zia. Well, what's a kid to do? He took the shard, he took the hit, and he took that note. That note cuts straight to the heart of things, don't it? <laughs> Finding gourmet ingredients ain't easy these days, but we'll take what we can get. The note says it plain. Zia, go east to learn the truth about the calamity and our people. I'll be waiting 
Sincerely, Zolf. You don't know what to say. Zolf's messenger was one of his people. Wonder just how many of them survived, and what exactly Zolf told him. I'll save my thanks for when it's all over. Kid arrives just in time to sample Zia's famous cooking. It ain't too late to unlock the potential of this place. Awful big lost and found under the circumstances. Finders keepers. Feeling those tools ain't just for use at the old forge. Side of will toughen you right up. Too bad about the musty aftertaste. He wolfs down too much too fast, and it all goes to his head. I've said a lot about the kid, but he ain't the only one wrapped up in all this. What's he thinking? Well, let me see if I got this straight. I only heard it once. Once there was a normal Ura girl, but she wasn't born in the Tazzle terminals like the rest of her people. She was from Ceylonia. Her folks were orphaned in the war, taken in and raised inside the city, on condition they would never return to the terminals. Refugees who came into the city had to stay for life. It was a way to reduce the risk of city secrets leaking out. The mama passed away from birthing complications, leaving the girl trapped inside that city with no one but her father. Her father was sharper than a brush.
Crusher's Pike, so he got a job working for the city's mansers. His daughter barely saw him. <laughs> told her nothing of her Ura heritage. He told her nothing of the Mansers. It's for your own good, he said. She took to studying the arts, learned more through music than history books, gained a knack for strings and songs. First, she tried to be like other girls, but her classmates spread word that her father was an Ura traitor, selling out the city. One young man stood up for her, or so he led her to believe. He knew much of her heritage, and she grew fond of him. take him to a family den to meet a father. Spoke of how he wanted to meet a man from the terminals. When the young man greeted her father in the Ura's native language, her father flew into a fit of rage and threw them out. The young man never told her that the Ura's native language is not to be used by foreigners. To do so is a terrible insult. It was then that she decided to escape. The two of them could flee the city together and go to the Tassel terminals. inside a garbage bin until it got ingested by a scumbag, then let him slosh on out of the city for disposal. scumbag sidled up to the city walls. The young man had sent the 
authorities a tip. Told him her father was using her to sell secrets to the Tazel terminals. She and her father were arrested for treason, but her father got a deal. Return to work for the Mansers, and she'd go free. Before they parted ways for the last time, her father whispered a desperate plea. Hurry home to the den, and lock yourself in. saw the calamity all around her. <laughs> <laughs> 